Hi. I would like to introduce you to the great horses of Japan. This time is Manhattan Cafe. Manhattan Cafe is a male horse born in 1998. His father is Sunday Silence. Manhattan Cafe had a black body and looked very much like Sunday Silence. His contemporaries include Agnes Tachyon, Crow Hunet, and Jungle Pocket. As you may know, many of the horses that were successful in this generation were highly capable, but had to retire early due to injuries. So, how was Manhattan Cafe? Let's take a look. Manhattan Cafe's debut came later than usual, in January 2001, when he turned three. It was a 2000 meter race, and he finished third in his first race. Half a month later, he won his first race, an 1800 meter race. However, his constitution was still weak at that time, and he lost 20 kilograms in the next race, Yeoi Sho, and finished fourth. And in the next race, He lost another 16 kilograms from Yeoi Sho. Naturally, he couldn't run properly, was defeated in 11th place, and then took a rest. Four months later, Manhattan Cafe was back in the race. Although it was a lower level race, he added 46 kilograms to his horse's weight from the previous race and won without any hitches. Perhaps this 46 kilogram increase in weight includes growth. He won the next race in a row and was able to move up to the open class. It was August by then, and the Triple Crown races, Satsuki Sho and Derby, were already over. Satsuki Sho had been won by Agnes Tachyon, and the Derby by Jungle Pocket. However, Agnes Tachyon retired after Satsuki Sho due to injury, and Jungle Pocket's racing schedule was not going well. He ended up not running any trial races, and will be taking on Kika Sho after a break. Manhattan Cafe ran in the Saints Light Kinen. If he finishes in the top three in this race, He will get a priority runner up spot in the final Triple Crown race, Kikasho. But he lost to fourth place. Although he lost, he was lucky enough to qualify for Kikasho. It was his first Grade One race, so the crowd did not give him high marks before the race. As the race began, Derby winner Jungle Pocket lost his composure and stamina. As he ran excitedly, Manhattan Cafe remained calm and still on its in course. In this race, the momentum of the fleeing horse did not fade even after entering the straightaway course. Jungle Pocket chases from the out course, but can't quite close the gap. Manhattan Cafe also chased hard. Just as they were about to cross the finish line, Manhattan Cafe passed the runner. He won the Grade One race with flying colors. They were both underrated before the race, so the odds on a horse double ticket were as high as 400 times. He was headed for a r e m a k i n e n at the end of the year. However, this race attracts strong horses every year. In this year, TM o p e r a t o and Meisho Dota were the main players. To give you an idea of how good they are, in 2000 2001, most of the middle distance Grade 1 races were won by o p e r a t o with Meisho Dota in second. However, They were already in a state where they had fallen a little short of their peak capabilities. Manhattan Cafe was rated third behind them. As a result, the two strongest horses were defeated, and Manhattan Cafe won the race.
Manhattan Cafe had a great run. And the second place winner of this race was a horse named American Boss. His pre race rating was the lowest, so the crowd was surprised. The horse number duplicate ticket again paid a high dividend of 480 times. This was the year of the World Trade Center tragedy in New York. And when people saw the results of the Arima Kinen race between Manhattan Cafe and American Boss, they couldn't help but feel something. There is no doubt that Manhattan Cafe has become one of the top-rated horses in Japan with his victory in the Arima Kinen. The following year, he entered the Nikkei Show. Of course, he was a big favorite, but he lost badly, finishing sixth. He actually has thin hooves, and his hooves were in particularly bad shape during this race. However, his trainers managed to treat him well, and he was able to enter the Tenno Show Spring Race in good condition. It was again a showdown with Jungle Pocket, and it was Manhattan Cafe again who won the dead heat on the straight course. He won Kika Show and Arima Kinen as a three-year-old, and Tenno Show Spring as a four-year-old. In the long history of the sport, only Simbali Rudolph has achieved this. Manhattan Cafe has accomplished a feat worthy of a long-distance horse. Five months later, he challenged for the Prix de l'Art de Triomphe in France, where he finished a disappointing 13th. Unfortunately, he was found to have tendonitis after the race, and his working life came to an end here. His total record is 6 wins in 12 races. He lost the Prix de l'Art de Triomphe, but if we limit ourselves to Japanese Grade 1 races, he has won 3 in 3 races. He was a horse with a strange mentality. He became a stallion. He was similar in appearance to his father, Sunday Silence, but he was also similar in some ways as a sire. It was a matter of bringing out the characteristics of the mother horse well. This has given him many successful horses. Horses that have won grade 1 races include Red Desire, Joe Cappuccino, Hiruno Di Amore, Grape Brandy, and Queen's Ring. I'll spare you the details, but they are active on turf, dirt, short, medium and long distances, male and female. And besides them, there are other horses born every year that win graded races. Although a valuable and talented stallion, Manhattan Cafe became ill in 2015 and slowly became unwell. He then died in August. The disease was an intra-abdominal tumor. He was only 17. With Manhattan Cafe's untimely death, we have high hopes for his children, but so far they have not produced many successful horses. That's all for this time. If you want to know more about Japanese horses, subscribe to this channel. Thank you.